Okay. We're delighted that you introduced that for everyone. Would you like to discuss it further? Sure. Um, a, a, a couple of things. The reason I, I, the main reason I wanted to to take it off the end of this packet or packet or, or group of was because 47th Street is so important to everybody on the board as well as all the residents and to make sure that the residents know what's occurring uh, and, and all the work that the staff has done um, on 47th Street and the intersecting streets as well as all the work that they have planned. Um, also, I, I want to make sure that, that the study wouldn't start until at least the uh, pavement is complete because I think it would give some skewed results if uh, they did it now. Although President Asperger told me it's started to be paved today, so yeah, it's, it's on its way. Yeah. And Ryan, is that the case as an anticipated study would be following completion of the repaving by IDA? Uh, that, that is correct. There are some components of the study that they can be started now to start looking at the different cross sections. There's other data components that we will um, hold off on uh, in order to capture uh, once the roadway is done as well as to look at um, some other facilities such as the high school that might uh, change the, uh, the data that's collected. Um, another concern I have, I guess I have several, but one of them is um, will they be looking at to, in, in figuring what happens if the CREATE project goes through and there's a great separation um, with the tracks at 47 and East. We have a, a separate task order with KLOA looking at uh, possible alternatives uh, to that intersection, but uh, to, the short answer to the question is yes, we will be looking at how the Korea project integrates with any uh, future improvements to the roadway. Okay, and, and I guess tying in with that, and I know this, this will come up in our, in our fall meeting, but will they be looking at the effectiveness of the yellow light that's at 47th and 9th? Um, I know some residents that are in the area don't believe that that, that car's really stopped for the flashing yellow. Um, I, I myself, would, when, when crossing there, would make sure to hit it, but wait for the car stop, not assume that they were going to stop. Um, so it, will, that be, will that be studied? Uh, yeah, yes, it will be studied. Uh, not part of this study. Uh, we've already started to uh, take a look at enhancements at that crossing to, to see if there's ways to uh, uh, make improvements there. To uh, I want to piggyback on something Mark's talking about with the crosswalk there in a very informal survey of my neighbors and friends and folks I know that use it. They are saying that, number one, they're grateful for the attention we are given to 47th Street, and that more people are stopping, more cars are stopping at the crosswalk. It's still a little dicey getting out there, but uh, the, the, the folks are starting to recognize what it is and have a more and better results there. So I'm sure the study will do that more formally, but let's answer your point. And, and then lastly, I know that, that in, in KLOA's proposal, um, one of the things is to uh, obtain the CAD base files of 47th Street from Howard Associates, which are, is the village engineers. Are, are those files, are those LaGrange files, are those Howard files? Is there a cost to produce that if they are our files? The, the, it's my understanding and, and the data is owned by the village, but uh, it resides on, on Hoyer's system because of uh, the technical requirements in terms of storing and accessing the data. Uh, and he possesses the, those softwares that are the software that can access that data. So, is this something that we would get like invoiced from the the engineer, or is this something included? And in, in just because he's storing it, we don't pay for that, or how's that? Work? He uh, he transmits the data to us uh, free of charge. Okay. Those are my questions, comments. Yeah. I said a follow comment um, on the crosswalk uh, down by Ninth. It would seem like this new law goes in place where you have to stop. It would seem like maybe a red flashing light might be, or a red solid light might be a more appropriate uh, synchronization with the new crosswalk law, given you have to stop at the crosswalk. So maybe we can consider that um, when the time is right, if that gets signed by the governor. You might want to take a look at a change of synchronization there that could be consistent. So you know, there's a no uh, ambiguity. And I, I'm very supportive of this, as well. I think it would be Great work, and, you know, I'm looking forward to the report in the fall. 
a uh, question and a comment. Uh, Ryan, can you elaborate on your remarks about the data gathering? Will the uh, 47th Street data be gathered while school is in session? I'd hate to gather the wrong information if we have a lot of LT students on 47th Street uh, and we gather the data sometime in July when they're not there. I want to make sure that it's you know, good sound data that we are in fact collecting. Uh, yeah, we, we've spoken to Cataway about that concern uh, and the need to, to collect data representing what you know could be expected during the peak times, and certainly that would be when it's, when school's in session um, and, and not during construction. So we've, we've discussed with them about collecting uh, key pieces of data in the fall. Okay, great. And uh, I'd echo uh, Trustee Langham's comments. Uh, I use the 47th Street intersection uh, as much as I can, of course, of you know, working out or whatever. And uh, I'd say that the performance of uh, motorists has improved, yet there uh, does need to be improvement. Uh, cars are still not stopping as soon as they ought to, and it sometimes does take uh, a couple cycles of, of pushing the button in order to, uh, to get a clear path across 47th Street. So I, I'm very hopeful that the, the law that we hope Governor Quinn signs will, uh, will educate motorists and uh, will create a safer condition crossing 47th Street at 9th Avenue and perhaps ultimately uh, at uh, Wayola as well. Unless there's further discussion, we actually had our discussion before a motion, so I would entertain a motion to uh, uh, approve the engineering services agreement for a preliminary engineering study for improvements on the 47th Street Court. I would be happy to make that motion. Second. Is it moved and seconded? Is there any further discussion? Seeing that roll call vote, please. Trustee Holder? Aye. Trustee Norvath? Aye. Trustee Kugler? Aye. Trustee Langan? Aye. Trustee Livingston? Aye. Trustee Palermo? Aye. Thank you. And that engineering services agreement is approved.